than a year later, a family still grieving the loss of six lives lost all in one night. Yeah, it is a fire that devastated so many. At the time, firefighters said this was the worst tragedy in the history of the Alcoa Fire Department. It happened in late April last year at a home on North Wright Road. Now, four adults and two children died in that early morning fire. Patricia and Raymond Michaud, their daughter Olivia, her two children, six-year-old Aiden and five-year-old Jackson Morgan, as well as their father, David Morgan. New here at 5 WAT 6 on your side reporter Laura Holm sitting down with the family today and has more now on their search for answers. Laura. Well, you know, the number two, the two questions they've had are why and what caused the fire. Those are the two biggest ones that they've had this whole time. Now, I checked with the Alco Alcoa Police Department, and at this point, they say this is still an open investigation and they can't share any updates. They were God's children, they were just on loan. To us. Instead of a home, there are flowers and two pinwheels in its place. It hurts every day. Some days are worse than others. The house that was here on North Wright Road last April. I wish I could have bought it. Was torn down this summer. Family saying, in many ways, it was a blessing. I'm in that area a lot and couldn't help but drive by it. And uh, you drive by and you see this horrible reminder. Um, but after that, you know, it's. It's beautiful. It's a peaceful lot. While much has changed, there's still the pain of missing this family of six. Patty was just loving and kind and caring. Raymond, he was loud and funny. I mean, they had been together for 30 plus years. Olivia always said I was her favorite aunt. And um, I miss her so much. And David was just a kind, loving guy. He was a lot of fun. Jackson and Aiden were just two sweet boys who, you know, their life hadn't even begun yet. Loved ones say they're not any closer to knowing what happened and what caused this fire. I have hope. I have hope, and that carries me through. There are many visits to this lot. It all came together, just like God's plan. But the family says there's no emptiness because they're choosing to walk with faith. Although it was tragic, they're with the Lord and they're happy and they're whole. And, you know, families have been mended and there were blessings that we were able to, to bring out of it. Now, the family telling me there are two takeaway lessons from this. They want all of us to remember to never take your loved ones for granted and always make sure your smoke alarms have batteries and that they're working properly. Guys? Mm -hmm. Good reminders, Laura. Thank you so very much. And of course, this is a case we're going to continue to follow everyone, and we'll be sure to keep checking back with investigators. Yeah, and as soon as we have the latest information, of course, we'll be sure to share that with you on air and online.